The message you're about to listen to is coming to you from the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Voice of Jesus, Denton, Texas, with Pastor Gogo Evarere. Get ready for an encounter that would change your life forever. For so be that the Spirit of God dwells in you. You see, the devil had advantage over us until Jesus came and then sent the Holy Spirit. The devil has no advantage if you know who you are. The unsuccessful to success. The sick to great health. Now, let's get down to the message for today. Remember, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. But we are going to talk about the letters of Jesus to the seven churches of the book of Revelation. I think by the time we finish reading those letters, we will know where we stand with the Lord. This is the letter God wrote to the seven churches through John. He wrote to the church at Ephesus, the church at Smyrna, Pergamos, Thyatira, Sardis, Philadelphia, Laodicea. The word church means ecclesia from the Greek word, which is gathering of God's people. In the island of Patmos, God wrote this letter to John, and as soon as he came out of prison, he started sending these letters to the seven churches. These represent the various dispensations of time, right from the time of Jesus Christ. The church at Ephesus was the church that Apostle Paul established in his third missionary journey. And he served in that church for three years. After three years, he handed it over to Timothy. And after Timothy, John was the apostle of that church before he was taken to prison in the island of Patmos. Revelation 2 verse 1. Unto the angel of the church of Ephesus write these things he had that hold the seven uh, stars in his right hand. Who hath walked in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks. Now, I know thy works. And thy labor. And thy patience. Labor is exerting energy. This is, I know some of you who come here to do labor, to do manual labor work. Are you doing it? Is the church doing it? I know that works. Faith without works is dead. This particular church had works. They labored. They are like the Macedonian church, the Ephesian church, and their patience, and how that can bear them which are evil. If you see evil, you can't stand it. And thou hast tried them which say they are apostles, and are not, and hast found them to be liars, and has burned and has patience and for thy, my name's sake has labored and has not fainted are you that is he addressing you or is he addressing this church we said we will examine our church we will examine other we have the ammunition to view other churches because some of us are students passing by and you'll be going to different cities Nevertheless, so that was the commendation. Now let's come to the condemnation. Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee, because thou hast left thy first love. Wow. Thou hast left thy first love. You remember the first time you became a Christian? How? The enthusiasm. 
you can't stay you can't miss a service you want knowledge do you still have it do you still have it do you still have it do you yearn to come to the house of God this church lost it is that our church is that you that makes up the church Jesus is condemning that you have left your first love remember therefore from whence thou art fallen and repent and do the first works or else I will come unto thee quickly and I will remove thy candlestick out of his place except thou repent but this thou hast that thou hast the deeds of the Nicolaitans which also I hate he that hath an ear let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. To him that overcometh, I will give to eat the tree of life, which is in the midst of paradise of God. Now the second church was the church of Smyrna. This, of these seven churches, two were perfect. Two were perfect. Of all seven, only two were perfect. And unto the angel of the church in Smyrna write these things. Say it, things say it, the first. Now, he introduced himself as the first and the last, which was dead and is now alive. I know thy works. <coughs> I know that works and tribulation and poverty but thou art rich now the God does not these people were, were a poor church on earth but they were rich in heaven and you will see the next church which was rich on earth that was poor in heaven heaven does not look at what you have because God created all of them they are minute when it comes to him and I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not. Both spiritual Jews, they say, oh, I'm a Christian. Oh, I'm a Christian. But as a synagogue of Satan, this church had commendation but no condemnation. This is the church which is a missionary church. They had the minds to evangelize Christ and they had no condemnation now the third letter goes to the church at Pergamos some call it Pergamum write these things which had the sharp sword with two, so he introduces himself as the sharp sword with two edges the word that's the introduction. I know thy works. And where thou dwellest, even where Satan's seat is, and thou holdest fast my name. Wow. You still use my name, though you are seated in the synagogue of Satan. And you do not deny the faith that you believe in Jesus, but it's all fake. Even in those days where Antipas was my faithful martyr, who was slain among you, where Satan dwelleth. But I have few things against thee, because thou hast there them that hold the doctrine of Balaam, who taught Balak to cast a stumbling block before the children of Israel. You had the doctrine of the devil. You manipulate the doctrine of Jesus to suit you. To eat things sacrificed unto idols and to commit fornication. So thou hast them that hold the doctrine of the Nicolaitans, which thing I hate. You pervert the gospel of Jesus Christ just to suit you. 
you have turned it into a merchandise according to first peter chapter 3 there was no commendation it was all condemnation repent or else i will come in unto thee quickly and will fight against them with the sword of my mouth this was a church that jesus said he will fight with the church of god he that had ear to hear let them hear what the holy spirit is saying the nicolaitans they allow pervert gospel they allowed heresies to be preached like it's being allowed in the church today the next letter is to the letter to Thyatira and unto the angel of the church in Thyatira write these things say the son of God who had eyes like unto a flame of fire and his feet are like brass he introduced himself as one who has a flame of fire and the feet like brass I know thy works God is watching every one of us and is watching our churches and charity you are very good at charity and service and faith that's commendation and thy patience and thy works and the last to be more than the first that is all good this church does charity does great things in the community notwithstanding i have few things against thee because thou sufferest that woman jezebel which called himself a prophetess to teach and seduce my servants to commit fornication and to eat things sacrificed unto idols he said i gave her but god is kind i gave her a space to repent for her fornication and she repented not behold i will cast her into a bed and then that commit adultery and into, uh, with her into great tribulation except they repent of their deeds and i will kill her children with death and all the churches shall know that i am he which searcheth the reins and hearts and i will give unto every one of you according to your works The judgment is going to start from the church. It's called the judgment seat of God. The mercy seat of God. The church will be judged first before the Gentiles will be judged. It's going to judge us first. But unto you I say, unto the rest in Thyatira, as many as have not this doctrine, and which have not known the depth of Satan as they speak, I will put upon you none other burden. Is that you? Is that our church? But that which ye have already hold fast till I come. And he that overcometh and keepeth my words unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron, as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I received of my father. That is for you, and I will give him the morning star that's what is going to that's your reward there's a reward he that had an ear to hear let him hear what the spirit saith unto the churches is the letter to the church in sardis and unto the angel of the church in sardis write these things which he said the seven spirits of god and the seven stars he introduced himself that the one who had the seven spirits of God and the seven stars, I know thy words, and that thou hast a name that thou livest and art dead. 
be watchful and strengthen the things which remain that are ready to die this is the dying church for I have found thy works perfect before God remember therefore thou hast received and hold fast repent if therefore thou shalt not watch I will come on thee as a thief in the night the rapture will not be announced it will not be announced it will just happen and thou shalt not know the hour I will come upon thee that is the day of your death you don't know he looked at this church and he said mm, I've gone through everyone uh, thou hast a few names even in Sardis who have not defiled their garment they shall walk with me in white in holiness for they are worthy he that overcometh the same shall be clothed in white raiment and will not blot out his name out of the book of life but I will confess his name before my father and before his angels that is the reward that is the cancer he that hath an ear to hear let him hear what the spirit saith unto the churches this is the church of Philadelphia Philadelphia means brotherly love <coughs> Philadelphia means brotherly love and to the angel of the church of Philadelphia write these things saith he that is holy he that is true he that had the key of David he that openeth and no man shut it he that shut it and no man open it I know thy works behold I have set before thee an open door that no man can shut for thou hast a little strength and hast kept my word and hast not denied my name behold I will make them of the synagogue of Satan we say they are Jews and are not but do lie behold uh, behold I will make them to come and worship before thy feet and to know that I have loved thee because thou hast kept the word of my patience I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth behold I come quickly hold fast which thou hast that no man take it thy crown don't let anybody show you animosity and then you show them animosity back and you lose your crown don't let unforgiveness condemn you and then you lose your crown because those people are set up for you to fail the devil wants to populate the kingdom of hell God also wants to populate his kingdom they will drag you but don't let it happen and the name of the city of my God which is in Jerusalem which cometh down out of heaven from my God and I will write upon him my new name he that hath an ear to hear let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches now this is the last church and unto the angel of the Laodiceans write these things saith the Amen he introduces himself as the Amen so be it type of God be faith, the faithful he introduced himself as the faithful and he introduced himself as the true witness he introduces himself as the beginning of the creation of God I know thy works that thou art neither cold nor hot I would that thou wert cold or hot this is the present day church the present the last church before Jesus reappears because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot I will spew thee out of my mouth say I am rich spiritualism this is the new age church and increase with goods and have need of nothing I know now 
not that thou art wretched and miserable and poor this is a church that the antichrist will meet because this church will not be raptured I cancelled it to buy of me gold tried in the fire purified that thou mayest be rich and white raiment that thou mayest be clothed and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear and anoint thine eyes with eyes salve that thou mayest see as many as I love I rebuke and chasten be zealous therefore and repent Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and he will sup with him and he will and he with me. To him that overcometh, I will grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I also overcame and I'm set down with the Father in his throne. He that hath an ear to hear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. That is the end of the letter to the seven churches. This way in real time, if you can see, the church at Ephesus was AD 30 to 100. There was commendation, good work, labor, patience, hated Nicolaitans, all good, but they had no love. Uh, a father had a daughter who he loved so much. They always hung together. But a time came when this daughter would not hang with him. When he says, baby, I want to go for a walk. Will you go for a walk with me? He said, no, I have something to do at home. And she will go back home. And the father will walk. The father became so miserable about this daughter. And then came his birthday. The daughter came, daddy, I have these sandals. And the daughter said, they're so beautiful. Where did you get them from? Did you get them from Macy's? She said, no, I made them myself. Ah, the father said, so that's what you've been doing for the past three months. And the daughter said, how did you know that I've been working on this for the past three months? He said, because you didn't spend time with me. I love the shoes, but next time, buy them at Walmart, Macy's, and spend more time with me. The story is said of a man who was called, and he wanted to see Jesus. So he said, I'm going to see Jesus. And as he was going to see Jesus, he stumbled into work and started walking and never saw Jesus. This letter is addressed to us, to you and to me. Anytime I start studying this, all I can say to Jesus is, have mercy on me. Have mercy. I failed. I, at a point in time, I even questioned, if the rapture was to come, will I make it? Would I have made it? But now I know. Approaching 59 years old, if I do not take the rapture seriously, then I'm stupid. I'm stupid. The rapture will come in this age. We have been warned 
you have heard the letter. Some refuse to hear this letter. Some refuse to be in the presence where these letters are read. But you have. Let's make a change. Let us stand up. This is a service where you will reflect on your life and your service to Jesus. Where do you fall in in these letters? They had a mission. They were not afraid of the truth, but they were poor. Your poverty here, and Jesus said, I'm the one, introduced himself as the one who was dead, but now is alive. Don't worry about your present state. I'm not here to please man, but to please God. You are going to pray. Father, in this month of March, I want to march with my focus on heaven. Go ahead and pray. What will it profit a man to win the whole world and lose his soul? Absolutely nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh, Father, I commit my life to you. Let my focus be on heaven and what heaven has for me. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. You're going to pray. You heard the word repent, repent, repent. Repent means turn around and walk in a different direction. You might have been walking in the wrong direction. You might have been taking the wrong path. You might have been taking the wrong route. So you're going to turn. You're going to say, Father, as I make this turn, walk with me in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray. You need the Holy Spirit to help you, to help you to walk in the right direction. The people around me, even in this church, even in the, my place of work, even in my family, oh God, let them not influence me negatively. I want to make heaven. Heaven is my goal. I want to make heaven. I don't want to miss heaven. The glory of heaven is more than the glory of this earth. Oh, yeah. thank you, Father. Glory, glory be to your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. And so, Father, keep these your children who are here with us. Jesus was for the truth, and many started leaving him. And he said to Peter, why are you still here? Won't you leave? Peter said, where will I go? <laughs> you are the truth. You are the life. Where else will I go? Oh God, these are your children who are still assembling in this your temple. Holy Spirit, as they go into this month, we've had testimonies, notable testimonies, but let there be greater testimonies in their lives in the name of Jesus. Whatever they are waiting for you for, Father, let them have a breakthrough. You said your children will be persecuted. Some churches are not being persecuted. Some folks are riding high because they have covenant with this earth. Our covenant is with you. So the earth is raging against us. Oh Lord, submit and present all these your children into your hands. You have reassured me, but I don't know how to reassure them. You reassure them yourself that their tomorrow will be okay. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord.